What's up, guys? It is Alex, also known as WWE Rocks. Two, two, four, two, three, and I'm back with another YouTube video. And today, I'm showing you my DIY squishies. Um, one of them that I made, I ripped up because the like Sharpie kept coming off onto my fingers, and they made my fingers all blue and my like whole hand blue. <clears throat> But I got them. I got all the blue off, or most of the blue off, so that's good. But I have four, and I actually made the one that I ripped up into something else. It used to be like a panda or something laying down, but I made it something else. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so there's the camera shadow right there. But. Um, here is the first one. I got it from Michael's, and it is these cookies. Squish is really good. Watch this. And surprisingly, it does not get on my hands at all if you look in the light. Nope. And I did kind of like an M&M type cookie with, like, a bunch of different color M&M &M pieces and stuff and then I made them chocolate cookies and yeah um so I didn't actually like cut this and stuff but I colored it so you can get the blank ones from Michaels for like I think like $13 no I think they're less than that but something around there let's see does it smell Smells like Sharpie and a little bit like when I first got it. There's a little bit of, I don't know. But yeah, that is my first item. As you can see, there's a little sneak peek over there. Um, But now I'm going to put that in there. Now the next one one I made out of some of my dad's like work foam type stuff and I made my dog I think maybe you guys can see that but the ears ears and then the eyes right there and then this is the nose and it's just the head and it squishes really fast because it's just like a foam kind of thing that he like uses to kneel on and stuff so I need to paint it but it actually smells good because I sprayed it with some axe spray so yeah there is the second item we'll put that in the bin too and next squishy Next squishy is one that I just made last night. Um, it's kind of bumpy and um, uh, it was a little bit blue because my hands were blue last night and I was making it while my hands were blue. But it is this seal, as you can see, like the tail, and then I drew the little arms or whatever the heck you want to call them. And then the closed eyes, the nose, and the whiskers. And he actually squishes very well. And sorry, I would squish him a little bit better, but both of my hands, I cannot use both of my hands. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now I put it down, so... There we go, look at that. So yeah, I think this one actually turned out really cute. And I just cut all the blue off from the last, the bluish, squishy thing. And I just kind of ripped off some pieces, cut a little bit, and then drew on a face and the little flapper things and the tail. 
and I think it looks pretty cute. And it's actually made out of like the memory foam and stuff. Cause it came from a real squishy and there you can see kind of the blue. But overall this this is really squishy and let's see one more squish there we go it's kinda fast but and it kinda smells smell guys mmm doesn't that smell good <laughs> I'm kidding you guys can't smell that but that is going in there too woohoo next or last squishy so my last DIY squishy, I just made this last night. Um, I looked up how to make squishies without foam, and paper squishies came up. And so you need to draw something, cut it out, and then um, cut out another piece, like the same outline, and then you need to tape it, and then tape them together, and put some, like, anything inside of it and in this um, situation type thing I put in some fluff like some fluff stuff you can put in like if you have extra foam around your house anything like that you can put it in there so I drew a gorilla and here it is it is really cool And watch if you do it like this or like this but yes I did draw this <clears throat> um, off of art for kids hub it is a very s nice and fun um, and family friendly channel and they do a bunch of drawings and stuff and that's where I got this idea from so I drew that and then I cut out another um, the outline of this and then just colored it with a black sharpie and then you tape it together with packing tape and fill it with fluff or something and as you can see there there's some fluff but Whew. Wow. This was really fun to make. And it took a little bit of time, but if you are patient, if you, like, are a patient person, you can probably make this. And it is a lot of fun. It took me about an hour or, like, an hour and a half or something just because... It was my first time making it, but I think I'm going to make another one, so, yeah, um, I will be right back. Since I still have about 12 minutes to film, I'm actually going to make one right now, which is going to be super exciting, and so, yeah, I am going to show you what you need. In order to make one of these, you're going to need some skizzers, <laughs> scissors, um, some paper, just white computer paper, or like printer paper, whatever you want to call it. And mine's a little crumpled and stuff, but who cares? That's going to be the back of the squishy anyways. And then some packing tape, just looks like that, and it's clear. And then... You're going to need some colored pencils to color your drawing. I have them in there, as you can see. Kind of. Yeah, and I have some Sharpies in there. And then you're going to need your drawings and stuff, which are all in here. And yes, I draw a lot. Like, there's a drawing. Like, I draw a lot. That's one that I haven't put in one yet. 
But like, I have a lot. And I haven't finished that one yet. I've got a bunch of these, so... Just quickly go through them. And these are all off of Art for Kids Hub or um, Cartooning for Kids. And so, yeah, I'm going to pick one that I want to make into a squishy. The easiest squishy would be like a really small one, but I'm going to go big. So I have four options here. I have the donut, the pineapple, Spider-Man, or Darth Maul. So I think this one's going to be the hardest. So I'm not. I'm not going to do him. I'm sorry Darth Maul. Hmm. Well. So these three left. So I will show you which one. We are doing. In just a little bit. I picked out the pineapple just because. Um. Just because <laughs> um, it's already colored and everything, and so it's going to be pretty easy. So, yeah. Alrighty, so first off, what you're going to want to do is cut all around it. And so I'll see you when I'm done cutting. We're all done with that. It should look... There's the garbage, and it should look like this, unless you're not making a pineapple, unless you're making something else, but it should look cut out like this. And next step, step is to take your um, paper and put this on. You can either go around it with your scissors, or you can... Um, go over it with marker and just like trace it and then you want to cut it out so when you're all done it should look like that now as you can see the leaves aren't or that like leafish part up there isn't going to look like the exact same yet there you go so now the leaves look pretty good I would say and now what you're going to want to do is color it and then when it's all colored it should look like this. It should look like that and so now you have them side by side and then when you put them like that they match up pretty well but oh, did I really do this again? It's supposed to be that way. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Oh my gosh. Hold on. There we go. So now that I'm all done with that now, now it's good. So this part actually has to go on the inside. And now, the next step. I want to take this and tape over this and then cut all around it and same with that one it should look like this with the tape on there and then you go around and cut all the extra tape off cutting that tape they should look like this kind of like a glare and yeah next step also want to get some fluff or like stuffing <clears throat> and then you want to go along the outside and tape both of them together and fill a little bit up there get it all oops <laughs> get it all the way up here and if you have to just go over it and tape it because it honestly doesn't look bad even when you tape it like that because it's not like an actual squishy it's just kind of like your own little design so yeah and tape it a little bit more and then grab some more stuffing and stuff it
like that. I want to push it in there really good because um, you want enough stuffing to make it really squishy. And then you press that together and put some tape on it like that. And then you grab another piece of tape over here and tape up that. Now you have a little part down here where you can fill it up with just the last itty bit of stuffing. And yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when you're all done, you can just take that and put it back. Hold on. There we go. Put it back. And now um, you have a little hole there. So you want to push that down a little bit more. Cut a little piece of tape. Cut it off and then grab it and with the hole you want to close it up like that. Take a little piece of tape and put it like that and voila, you are done with another squishy. Woo! So there it is. There is another squishy to add to that over there. Whoops. And yeah, so that's basically it, and it's a lot of fun. Now, if you don't have, like, very much patience, I don't think this is really the type of thing you would want to do, just because it takes a lot of time and patience, like I said. But yeah, it is really fun. And when it's done, I mean, they're really fun to squish and stuff. But yeah, if you, if you make one of these, tell me in the comments and let me know which one out of these two is your favorite. And comment down below if you want me to make more. I'm probably going to make more later. But yeah, it is a lot of fun. I recommend you guys try it if you guys are like patient with time and stuff. I'm just grabbing some like of the garbage just so I can throw it away. But... Yeah, um, there it is, and yeah, I hope you liked this video. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you're going to try making one of these or not. It is a lot of fun, so thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!